Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm excited to try this new cream because I've been waiting to get it. I don't know why I waited so long, but I'm actually gonna be trying that today. So if you're interested in that, just keep on watching. Okay, so the cream I'm talking about is the Talia Wajid um, Curl Cream, I don't know. Curly Curl Cream, and I've heard a lot of great stuff about this they say it has great hold so of course i'm gonna try it with my wet line because we need some hold speaking of my last video i i don't know if you guys saw it with the the wet line and the um curling souffle my hair like the grease went away it's not as sticky or greasy and it looks really shiny like it looks wet but it's like i don't know it's like it's still a little bit uh, it's like <clears throat> sticky in some places it's just an ugly shape. It's like weighed down and not in a good way. Like it just looks crazy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wash that out and we can start on fresh hair and we can hope for a good hair day this week because I really, really want one. So let's just see. Okay, so before I get in the shower, I just wanna show you guys like up close, like it's so like shiny looking, but it's like frizzy and like, I don't know if it's so shiny because it's like greasy or what, but it just looks really crazy it like it looks way down okay guys so i just washed my hair and i'm kind of shook because hey guys so i'm actually editing this right now and i just noticed my lighting is messed up and like where we are right now but i promise it gets better i'm sorry i didn't realize it was messed up in this video like i really don't even want to put this out but i really liked how my results came so i'm just gonna deal with it Hopefully you guys don't kill me. I'm sorry it won't happen again. I just wanted to put that out there. Okay, enjoy the rest of the video, hopefully. Like I was saying with my last video, how I used the curling souffle, I washed it out of my hair and I feel like my hair is so moisturized now. Like, is that weird? I was feeling like I had like moisture overload or something because how moisturized it was. It has a lot of glycerin in it and it's really humid. So that could have played a part so I'm wondering if I could try this as a deep conditioner. Does that make sense? Or like a pre-poo? Let me know if I should try that in a video because this is so, my hair is like so moisturized. It's kind of weird. But let's get started. So the Curly Curl Cream from Talia Wajid. It says use on wet or dry hair, separate into sections, distribute, can be used on all textures of hair. Um, okay, I don't, okay, I don't think this has glycerin or it's not really high up on the, wait, okay, so I don't think this has glycerin in it, or if it does, it's not that high up, but anyways, I'm not even going to use a leave-in because my hair is just so soft right now anyways, like, it's actually holding water, that's so crazy, okay, so... Let's split this. Okay. So, this is a pretty good section, I think. Okay. Now I'm gonna take this curl cream. It smells pretty good. It's not what I expected it to smell. Wait, is this the one everybody likes or? Wait, apple and aloe, is that not this one? Did I buy the wrong one? Oh well. Okay, this is like thick. It feels like Play-Doh, kind of, I don't know. It's weird, it feels like it. Okay, I'm gonna put this in my hair. Take a little bit more. Wet it a little bit. Brush it through. Ooh. One. They wanted to join the party, so let's put a little bit more on the, this side. Okay, now, let's 
not really looking like anything. Wet it? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna take my three row comb. Let's see what this will do. Okay, it's pretty good. It's still a little frizzy. Okay, now I'm gonna take my Wetline Extreme Gel. Let's take this much maybe. I want my hair to dry, but I want some definition. Through. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit more gel. Okay, not mad. Okay, I'm gonna shingle this. Okay, after shingling, this is what it's looking like. I'm not wowed yet. Like, it feels moisturized, everything like that, but I'm not like shocked by any of this. So I'm just gonna keep going and we'll see what happens. Okay, this stuff is it's thick. I don't know how much I need to use. Like, do I need to use a lot of it? I don't know. It's been so humid and everything I've been using lately, like, or trying has glycerin in it. So my hair is just like poofing up. Okay, we can work with that. What line? So, what do I have? So I'm planning on doing a wash day routine, curly hair routine, um, some other little things planned. But if you guys have anything you want me to try or like video ideas you want me to do, stuff like that, just let me know and I'll see about doing them because I want you guys to watch like stuff you actually want to see, you know, not just me being repetitive. Okay, this is, okay, wow. That's good. Maybe I need to do my roots a little bit. Okay. That, okay, I'm seeing it now. I also wanna thank you guys for getting me to 700 subscribers. Like, that's so crazy to me. I know I say this every time, but it's like, I only started this a couple months ago and I'm already at 700. Like, that is so crazy to me. And it's like, I just hit 700 the other day and I'm already past that. And that just makes me so happy. And I'm just really grateful that you guys like my videos and like my channel. So if you have, like I said, any ideas of like stuff you wanna see or me to try, just let me know. Cause I'm definitely down to try stuff. Ugh. It's like making my hair so smooth. This stuff is definitely moisturizing. Like it is making my hair so smooth when I brush it. It's reminding me of the um the Kinky Curly and the Camille Rose combo that I did I wanna say two weeks ago. Ooh, okay. Like it's so shiny. I always say that. 
I wonder what's what's in this. Okay, that's why it has shea butter in it. My hair loves shea butter. Like anything shea butter. And fun fact, when my hair first started, like when I first started growing it out, like it wouldn't curl, I wanna say. Like it didn't, it would just like grow in a puff. Like it wouldn't curl up at all. So what I used to do, I would do finger coils just with shea butter, like white shea butter. And they would look so good and they would be so shiny. Like I would just use water and shea butter. I wonder if that would work now. Should I try that? I really should. I should try that. I wonder if I have enough. I know I have shea butter somewhere, so let me see. And that, it used to have some hold too. Like it wouldn't just last a day. Like that would last a week or more. And I'm talking about when my hair was like, probably, hmm, probably like four inches and less, it would, it would look so good. I stopped doing it after that because my hair got long enough that I could try to do something else to it. But we were struggling. So if you feel like your hair isn't I want to say like curling when you first start growing it out like let it just start to curl itself if that makes sense like let it figure out how it needs to grow and all that because it might just take time like mine did and now look at mine okay guys so i am done shingling this is what it's looking like I'm gonna go ahead and diffuse. Oh, look at that one. I'm gonna go ahead and diffuse, and we will see what it's looking like after I'm done diffusing, and I will show you guys how it's looking when it's dry too. Okay, guys. So it's I lied. It's actually day three right now. I know I showed. I told you I would show you guys. Um, when it dried like that day, but this is day three. It's still looking really good. Like I Really like this product. I would recommend it the smell. Okay. I, th I thought about it. The smell is definitely like Like a perfume. It doesn't stink. It's not like girly girly, but it definitely smells like a ooh, like a Victoria's Secret like like a, it smells like a Victoria's Secret perfume, if that makes any sense. That's what it reminds me of. But I really like it, it's really moisturizing. It doesn't have a crunchy hold with the gel at all. It's probably like a medium hold. So it didn't frizz up, but it has like a nice hold to it. Like you can tell there's something there, but it's not, it's not crunchy. It's not too soft. I think it's perfect. I really like this. So I would definitely recommend you guys try this out if you're looking for something that gives you some hold without crunch, but you still want the definition with this and wet line, I really recommend this. And here is just a closer up of what my hair is looking like. Like I said, I really like these results so far. All right guys, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one.